the legacy of the Vikings everyone we are back here in another episode of EU for Sweden and right now we're on episode like I don't know like 17 20 somewhere in there I really don't know because I don't like count my episodes until like they actually come to the pass but anyways guys there's two important things I have to mention right off the bat one is, is that when I was looking through our, like, school thing and looking through our government, thinking, oh my goodness, we have a region regional council, and just thinking how horrible it was, I looked at our guy, Philip Whitting. This guy isn't bad. Like, two, four, three? That ain't bad. Compared to what we have right now, that's pretty good. So I'm really happy with our next air in line. That would be really good to have him in. Um... The other thing I was going to mention is, well, our economy is doing awesome, but that's just natural because I'm a natural great leader. Mm-hmm. Not even going to, no one ever, no one's ever going to refute that fact, so just, yeah. <laughs> well, we're almost good with this, so we can enable the quest for the new world, which is what we kind of need right now. Because we need to kind of be able to, I want to go start discovering America so we can start doing some colonizing, because I'm not really going to be focusing in on on uh, Europe for a very long time and we're gonna have to get into those good colonies very very soon here um gosh I'm trying to think of the there was something else I was gonna tell you guys like legitly I had it just a couple seconds ago and it, oh it had to do with my religion um right now as you guys know I'm Catholic and I could convert to Protestantism right now which would be a good thing and a bad thing I'm It'd be a good thing for me because I get more taxes and more stuff and more stuff. Bad thing is, is that, you know, you know we have massive revolts everywhere because most of my state is Catholic. So, that's a bad thing. But anyways, I'm going to wait until my entire realm just becomes this big, gigantic, you know, Protestant bunch. And then I'll convert to uh, Protestantism. At least half the country has to become um, Protestant before I switch over because otherwise we will have difficulties and I'm also thinking that I'm not going to uh, I'm not gonna go uh, you know go colonize until that issue is resolved because that as I've noticed through other let's plays I think it's more beneficial for your you know maximum amount of wealth if you make sure you convert all your colonies first New Stockholm is doing so good too I love you New Stockholm Alright, um, early rampart, I could get that. I need to get some docks, actually. We've been, I've been seriously neglecting this, and we need to seriously get some docks all around here. Oh, wait, we can't, because we're out of money. Okay, but when I can get more money, I want to build some more docks around here so we can get more better ships and better stuff. So, yeah, and as you guys know, when I'm speaking softly, that usually means it's, like, late at night, so... Just so you guys know, I wanted to open up very excitingly, but for the rest of this episode, I'm going to be speaking quite softly, so, yeah. Anyway, so, we are going to be just kind of chilling out here, and probably, since these guys are having serious Russian Patriot problems, I'm definitely going to take advantage of this, and going to go after Lithuania. Lithuania does have pretty weak allies, let's, I'll, I'll be real here, they do not have powerful allies, and since they kind of backstab me, let's, let's start teaching them why everyone hates us. <laughs> Like, why are we feared throughout the world? It's not because we are severely liked or anything like that. It's because we basically take what we want. So I'm going to see which is the strongest trade node. Ooh, Novgorod right here would be a nice colony. Uh, but I can't quite get to it. I can't get good to Kirtland either. Did they conquer? They conquered Kirtland! What jerks! Oh, I'm so ashamed. Alright, um... I think what I'm going to do, because I want to make sure that... This trade node right here, we are dominating. Right now, we this trade node is way too divided. It's making 18.3. This one's making way more. Like, this one's making... Wait, is that how much trade power I have? Total value in node. Oh, that's... Oh, the bottom's how much the total value is, and the top part's how much I own. Oh, okay. That that was that makes more sense. So, right now, apparently, our node is pretty rich. Like, seriously, our node is pretty rich. I think if we were to refer to more trade over here, maybe we'd get more, but... 12.26, I mean... 
We're making a lot from this trade node. And, you know, some is outgoing, I won't deny that. But we're still making a lot, which is great. So, that's good. But we want to make sure that we keep dominating this trade node. That way we can keep sending more trade in to over here. So that then, you know, we gain even more money. So we need to conquer... I think what I want from these guys is, like, these three regions right here. So that I can kind of protect my... Neva region, which I'm going to rename, you know, just because it's, it's, it's kind of, I'm going to name it St. James, just because it's a combined nation of St. Petersburg and my name. It's not, I'm not actually doing it for a religious purpose to anyone who wants to know. I'm just doing it just because, okay, so how do I do this? Okay, there we go. So I think, yep, now it's St. James. So St. James, everyone. St. James. So the St. James trade node will be basically located right here. And I want to make sure that St. James is protected by the rest of the land around it. So let's start getting some cores around these guys. I mean, I am a jerk that way. Most people know me. Most people already know this. So I don't think it's going to be much shock that I would do something this, like, evil. But, eh. It might be to some people, but to me it's like, yeah, this is what I do all the time to all my neighbors. We just go to war randomly against them. And my legitimacy is my heir has just been terribly good. Like, there is no way no one will ever be able to question our legitimacy as a king. I mean, really, if you question my legitimacy, you basically get to go get hanged. The spread of politicism, yay! Come on, guys, keep spreading throughout my land. Just keep spreading. I also need to kill all the orthodox. We also need to kill all the Orthodox. We're, we were so close to killing off all the Orthodoxy. And Protestantism is seriously spreading everywhere. That's good. Civil Disorder. I don't really care about Bohemia. Bohemia is just strong. It's, did they embrace Protestantism? Because that's pretty strong Protestantism. They must have embraced it. Because that's the... Yes. Religion Protestant. Yeah, I was about to say. Because there's no way they can be that strongly Protestant. Okay. So that's good. We have another Protestant nation. I mean, I'm going to be... Basically, after this, I'm going to be hated by the entire world, and I won't really care. I'll just be like, yeah, I'm, I don't really care. You guys can go do whatever you want. I'll, I'll be, I'm fine being hated by the entire world. It doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I'm Sweden. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> uh, that's, and that's what I can kind of say now, because I am that big. So, all right, but let's get some docks. Docks. And all these provinces over here, Stockholm. Okay, let's get one. Go to land. Okay, yeah, we just we're just trying to increase our more valuable places. That way we can start, you know, making better ships and making you know better ports and basically improving my general overall but overall sound. Anyways, Regency. The ministry changes by. Ooh, that's not good. Number of royal marriages helps me go up, but that's still not good. All right, what can we get? We can get more of this. Okay. National conscripts. Do I want this? Uh, actually, I do. Because this is, this is the whole reason why I did that. Like, Sweden ideals advance. So now we get to... <laughs> I was about to say, this is going to become a problem with our legitimacy. But now it really isn't. Because our legitimacy is unquestioned. And now we have the exact... National conscript I wanted. This was the one I wanted from the very beginning of offensive ideas. And you know, the rest are kind of okay. I mean, I don't really need them. Well, actually, land enforcement's modifier might be really good to have. I might get that later. And cavalry, manpower speed, stability modifier. Stability modifier might help, and production efficiency, that might really help. By now, production's doing pretty good. It's at 20% right now. Trade power, trade 20%. Uh, noble family or grant aid or lose stability? Grant aid. Holy shoot, that just made me negative. This ends in turmoil. Well, in about a couple months, I'll be out of the whatever situation I just rose myself in. So, I'm gonna keep my boats all the way back in here because this is the Bay of Sweden. The Bay of Sweden, everyone! Yeah, I know, I'm get I kind of realized I'd have to take a loan. Kind of stinks. I guess that's the way sometimes things crumble. And Protestism, Protestism. Hey, I think I spread Protest Protestism to this place over here. And let's see, Lithuania has approximately 9,000 men. Could, gonna be able to deal with that pretty easily. 
15 K Ikea plus more advanced technology equals major ponage. Protestant, the Protestants are right over there. Okay. Oh my goodness, what the heck happened to England? Oh my goodness. Did they do exactly what England's supposed to do? I think they did exactly, yeah, England did exactly what it's supposed to do. It became a Protestant. Protestant people because the king did not want to do a, a no marriage. Who was it this time? Who was the king? Let's see. It was a region. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It was a regency council that made this important decision of becoming Protestant. You guys are kind of stupid. <laughs> I, it was way cooler when I could say it was like a, uh, you know, guy named King Henry the Eighth, Fifth, somewhere around there. I just decided to go crazy and decided to chop, chop it off everyone's heads. Oh no, my king, a military, oh no. Oh no, I'm so scared of the Liberian order. Really? I'm getting a Cardas Belli on you. I wouldn't be scared of you, Cola. Okay. You guys are spreading to all the unimportant colonies. Please spread faster. Please spread faster. Like seriously, I want you guys to spread like wildfire. I want the Catholic Church to burn and die. Dang, we do not believe! We do- Wait. Oh, for a moment I thought that was us, so it was like, Yes, we're actually in control! Maybe we shouldn't leave, but we're not, so... Lou leaving! Okay, so let's get this. Finally, yes! Yes! Okay. Now that I finally have this, it's finally go time to go s discover land, everyone. So I'm going to break off a bog. Oh wait, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Let's go right here. Let's go right. A bog. One bog. Okay. And select that one bog. I'm going to transfer it over here. Alright. Go quickly. Go quickly, men. Go quickly. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is recruit a militaristic leader. This is why, if you guys remember last episode, I did not recruit a new general. was because I need to wait till this happened. Because we actually do need to go get a... Uh, Leader, so conquistador, Con wait, no, doi, 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 do. Wrong, oh shoot, wrong one. What do I need? I need to recruit a explorer. Fifty diplo power. Uh, that should come in a couple months, so we can wait. Do, 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 do. But yeah, once we get that, then we'll start exploring. We've gained a Kazus Belai and some wealth. Uh, I honestly don't... I probably want to take two regions just because I'm a greedy... I'm a greedy person. So I'm going to fabricate a claim on Legorod 2. That way I get good maximum claim to Novgorod. And that way I also split kind of the Empire into two. Like, the Liberian Order may not be the most powerful people ever, but I still want to make sure that they are owned by me. And then that basically puts me in a direct conflict with Muscovy for future expansion, because then I basically want to say I want these two regions too. Which won't be fine with me, they already hate me by a lot. Oh, come on. Well, it seems like I'm not going to war for this region for a very long time. Let's see. Uh, how much is my... Is this... 1532. Well, that's a very long time. If I don't have that by then, then I'm pretty much an idiot. Alright, we almost have my... Mm, two more turns. We should be able to get my uh, Diplo power in a couple turns, which means then we'll be able to create our first explorer, and then we can start exploring land that we've never seen before. Because we are really terrible, because our ancestors never told us how to get to America. They didn't build maps, so we never knew. <laughs> Curse you, Eric the Red. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kiyet. Please keep spreading Protestantism. Like, I'm not joking. Seriously, keep spreading it. I love you guys. I love you. Thank you. Okay, we want this guy. I don't even care how good he is. Okay, we just want him. Okay, yes. Okay, Stefan, I'm gonna dock you up right here. And then we're gonna go send you guys out to the Great Unknown Sea. Basically known as Antarctica. Because it it's just a terrible sea. And I really gotta start conquering a lot of these little tiny islands of Norway. But I'm gonna wait until, like, I form Scandinavia before that happens, so... It might take me a little bit. Alright, go! Go, my men! Don't take too much nutrition! Let's see how much nutrition this guy's gonna take. I'm kinda curious. 
Okay, so I can't see him if I do that, but I can see him if I do this. A uh, missionary in cult in Colgeny is almost done. Uh, missionary Hugh is doing fine. We're, we're doing basically fine. I mean, okay, so he's taking two point percent. That's not too bad. He'll be he'll be able to discover something. Spread positivism, yay, Finland! Thank you guys. Thank you so much for supporting my dreams of creating an entirely Protestant nation. Now please do not rise up and revolt. That's the only thing I hope you guys do not do. Okay, yes, we discovered a new seed. Okay, we got 4.0. Keep going, guys. And I think we just discovered New Finland. Oh, yes, we discovered... No, not New Finland. Greenland! Greenland, everyone! Ironically named. I'm going to rename that Iceland if I ever conquer it. Because <laughs> that is really a terrible name. Like, seriously, that is a terrible, terrible, terrible name. Alright, now I'm starting to take nutrition. I want to make sure that I... Okay, we could probably get to America this turn. Like, seriously, we could probably get to America this turn. Because it isn't that... Yes! I made it to America, guys! Sweden made it to America! Go Sweden! Go, go, go Sweden! Go, go, go Sweden! Go, go, go Sweden! We made it to America! Yeah! Okay, well, we made it to, like the very edge of America, but now we can start seeing stuff, so can we go any further? I think we could probably go... Uh, that might kill him. Ah, who cares? Go, man! Discover for your life, because I don't really care. Just discover as much as you can in the amount of time that you have. Discover! Discover! Give him the... You know, it's, it's kind of funny. We already know, like, everyone knows... Okay. The spread of Protestantism, yay! Ignore heresy. Local tax modifier. Or get Diplo power. Let's do that. Because I like that one much better than the other one. But, you know, it's kind of funny. In, in Victoria 2, we honestly, um... We honestly know what's coming into the world. Like, we know that this is right there. We know that this entire continent is right here. But yet, we're always so... F like, so happy when we find it. We're always like, Oh my goodness, I found this. Oh my goodness, I found that. It's, it's such, like, a cool feeling. Alright. You better run, dude. You better run quick. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Stefan Stutter Akilium. Why do I have such hard names? Seriously, like why? Why do Sweden names have to be so hard to pronounce? Um, let's see if they can make it. Ooh. Ah dang. Let me guess. That's just barely out of my colonial range. Ah, uh, yeah. The only way I'd be able to colonize that is I'd have to get Norway. I mean, the Iceland. So. We basically have a reason to go to war back to way with Norway because I need to go get that land. Otherwise, we're going to be basically messed over. Okay, effective distance. Colonial range. Yeah, we are. Idea? Really? That's the closest point? You know, I would have thought that this would have been the closest port, honestly. Huh. Guess not. Well, anyways, though, we will... Yeah, we'll definitely be having to planning an invasion of these lands. Because I want them now. Now that... Oh, this guy's probably not going to make it. I probably killed him. Goodbye, Stefan. You are a terrible guy. You died in the field of battle. Oh, no way. Did... Wait, is he actually going to make it? No way. He can't possibly be... A... He made it! What the heck? How did this guy do that? Oh wow. Okay, so that guy is apparently a beast. He can apparently make it far off places. So, yeah, and he is the... Oh, thank you guys, thank you. He is the very first, like, serious explorer we have. I mean, he discovered America. Look at that. Look at that, he discovered America. And... He honestly did it in style. Wow. Dang. You are a great guy, dude. You deserve, like, a hero medals. Like, if I could give you a medal right now, I'd still give you a medal. But, yeah, now we really have to start a new cardinal. Wait, what? Uh, he is loyal to Lithuania. Oh. Still no Sweden cardinal. I'd like to point that out now. Maybe if I had a cardinal of my own, I might have stuck with Pons. Might not convert to Protestantism, but you guys kind of forced me to do this. What the heck is happening with these guys? Like, they're being converted to almost everything. State religion Protestant. I guess there's massive revolts going on in the country, and... 
Yep, yep, I just said it. There's massive revolts going on in the country because they're switching from a new religion. And they're going back and forth by now, which is what the which is what the company doesn't want. So that's pretty hard. But yes, America. Okay, if we can get this colony right here. I know it's a base tax of one. It's not the best. That one isn't, that one isn't, that one isn't. This one's pretty good. If we could get this right here. Base tax of two, Kes Peak. Yeah, if we could get this right here and then go right here. And we'd have a pretty good outpost because the colony system works that this is going to be like half the original amount. And this is going to be like a quarter of the original amount. And then every other colony is going to be the full amount. Wait, reverse what I just said. Like, it's going to be quarter, half, then full amount. So we need to make sure we get in on the good side of the colonial range while we still can before it becomes a bigger than anything thing. So, yeah. Oh, Muscovy. You guys hate us so much. As the mission subject, Kuzan. Speaking of which, can I... I'm going to switch my... Uh, seriously switch my... Uh, oh, my goodness. Wait, how close am I? Oh, wait, that's not going to happen anymore. What am I talking about? Yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's happening very, very slowly, but I don't think it's ever, we're never going to achieve cultural unity, so I'm just going to stop this now. Yeah, we, we, I, I'll be honest with myself, we just aren't that united, so guys, I think that's, <laughs> that's an episode. A loan has come to pay due. Belying neglect. It seems our government that governs the least governs the best as far as Holland is concerned. A non-improvement in Holland has proved beneficial and the local economy is booming. They can do it on their own? If if it moves, tax it. <laughs> I still believe in that. Wait, wait. No, no. Take loan. We pay loan. We pay. Yeah, look at that. I am an efficient person. Because I pay back my dues. Okay, but anyways... Um, we're almost there to our first administrative tax. Still not. Still kind of mad that I can't get my, uh, thing yet. But, yeah, we look like a pretty powerful Sweden right now. <laughs> I mean, honestly, who, who would really mess with us at this point in the game? We've expanded basically everywhere in our whole entire region. And we are basically the big bad boys of the north. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.